those of you who don't know us yet, we are Carol and Ken, and we like touring in our little red camper, a tiny Nissan MV200 built by Sussex Camper Vans. We offer tips and tricks for how to survive in such a tiny van, and also try and demonstrate just how easy it is to wild camp. Welcome back to the channel. It's the 8th of June today, and that was our ninth wild camp on this trip. Had a really nice uh, sleep here. Very isolated. This road only goes to a few private houses. And so um, we didn't get any traffic at all. It's wonderful when it's like that. It also means you can lay in bed if you want to. So I think we'll stay here just a little bit longer. I'll do some editing and some voiceover work. This morning um, I saw the sheep coming over the brow from the beach there and they're doing it again. Can you see them? Oh, I can see them, yeah. Yeah. Coming in a line over the dunes. Yeah. sheep just seem to go round and round in a circle then there's a load more coming now They're the same sheep <laughs> but there can't be that many sheep down on the beach well, there might be. actually i don't think they're down on the beach i think that's just an optical illusion yeah they're, just in the dunes. Yeah, they're in sand dunes because the beach is much further away this is the first person we've seen since we've been here Farmers are always up before the camper vanners, so always keep that in mind when you're choosing your spot. I'm a police trained driver, but I don't drive fast as I've seen too many accidents in my time. Did she not see she didn't you? Look. She didn't even look. She didn't even look, but she waved. Uh, good job I was looking for her, wasn't it, really? Yeah. As regular viewers will know, every morning we set off in search of public toilets in order to empty the pee bottles. We never tip the contents where we park, and nor should anybody else, as that's the quickest way to lose a park up. This is Ross Nagare, and just around the corner here are the public loos. I noticed this Vauxhall van and thought that would make a really nice camper. Oh, that's plenty of room in there, yeah. to be honest with you. Uh, it's bigger and wider than us. Yeah. And this isn't the long wheelbase, you say? No, this is a small wheelbase. A small wheelbase. Uh, well, if it was still in business, uh, I wouldn't have bought it because you can't get eight before sheets of plywood. Oh, is that what you yeah. Flat. You can, get, you can get them in on the angle. Yeah, but you want you them, can't flat. Get them all no. flat. Yeah. You know, so, it's a so lovely colour. You picked a good colour. Well, that was a, the uh, salesman who was a friend of mine. He said, get that. Go for that colour. Yeah. And I said, no. I said, no. You know, but I think he said, no. He said, go for yeah. that colour. And uh, there's, I haven't seen very many. Well, when it comes time to sell it, you'll, buy, you'll find people that want to buy it oh, and turn absolutely. it into a camper van. There's no doubt about it. That's it, yeah. Thanks Lovely. for showing me. Not a problem. Cheers, Not a mate. Problem. Ta da. Right, that's all the chores done. Now we can get about enjoying the rest of the day. Pretty 
Okay. Yeah, lovely. This is RAF Valley and it's home to number four Flying Training School which is responsible for training the UK's next generation of world-class fighter pilots. Aircrew are also trained here for mountain and maritime operations throughout the world. It's also home to the Mountain Rescue Service the military's only high readiness all-weather search and rescue service. Number 4 Flying Training School takes RAF and Royal Navy fast pilots from basic flying training and trains them to fly fast jets prior to moving on to their operational conversion units. Can you see anybody? Yeah, following that one. That's a big one. This is the Hawk T2. The aircraft has a glass cockpit, which allows trainees to be immersed in more complex tactical environments. Pilots start their training on the Texan T1. It also has a glass cockpit and avionics that can simulate air-to-air -air combat and ground attack. RAF Valley's motto is Refuge in Adversity. For many years RAF Valley took pride in being a master diversion airfield and remained open 24 hours a day to receive aircraft either in difficulty or diverted from other bases because of bad weather. The winds are strong today, but it doesn't put off the many spectators that like to gather near the end of the runway and watch the aircraft land and take off. There are over 1,500 service personnel, civil servants and contractors that work here at RAF Valley. The base is currently under the command of Group Captain Andrew Turk, DFC ADC MA RAF.
these ponies at the end of the runway have seen it all before and just quietly keep on munching in the grass. In two miles, at junction two, take the A5153 exit to Penross A5. In half a mile, take the exit on the left. Time for some lunch. Today we are supporting the local KFC. And before you say that's not a local business, they do employ local people. This van looks to be a self build. Yeah, it looks very nice, doesn't it? Can I have a bonus banquet uh, meal, please? With water. Uh, what size? Uh, my size, baked beans, please. Beans. Yeah. Would you like a meal large? Uh, no, thanks. Now, yeah, one uh, twister meal, please. Two, sorry. Uh, one twister meal, twister meal with uh, water and barbecue sauce. Barbecue? Yes, please. Barbecue sauce on both, please. Barbecue. Where do you want to eat this? Might go up by home bargains. Well, your choice is you can park up by home bargains, Poundland, New Look, Peacocks, or Wilco. Which do you prefer? Wilco's all classy. What a van snob. To be honest, the only thing that matters is the slope. Then up what there by just... home bargains, he's parked right with the, the slope, top. aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Or next to this blue one here. Well, it's uh, still so on the slope. The slope. Yeah, okay. it, 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 the slope's that yeah, way. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Take care. Now. Cheers, Thank Thank you. Bye, bye bye. We got Charlie. Chips again. We had chips last night. <laughs> Barbecue sauce. And a wrap. Just a wrap. I got a bargain box. Uh, not a bargain. Um, a bonus box. Bonus box with beans. The thought of KFC never really matches up to the experience these days. These are nice. Wanna try one? What are they? Tornadoes, smooth strawberry. Yeah. Oh, the guy. These are one pound a bag from B and M, so don't expect too much. Mm. They're nice, aren't they? Mm. Very sweet. I'm very zingy. Yeah. Mm. Full of flavour. Mm. I'm ashamed to say I ate the whole bag. I wonder if they go sticky in the sweet jar. They never got a chance to see the sweet jar. This is Hollyhead, but at the moment we're just passing through. Now everyone who visits Anglesey almost certainly will come here. Any ideas where we're going yet? We're off to South Stack, the lighthouse, and hopefully we're going to spend the night up here. When we arrived it was very busy in this car park. I'm taking the opportunity to now relocate the van so that we're nice and level. The wind is very strong here and for some reason it's got bitterly cold. The lighthouse was constructed in 1809 and it sits at the very end of the island of Anglesey to warn of dangerous rocks just below. The lights and foghorn were automated in 1983. The light has a range of 28 miles and the foghorn a range of 2 miles. When I come back it's like this. It's been very blowy out there. 
<laughs> had a good walk though. I have, that's why I'd like some water please. Yeah, I'm right, just having you some water. Oh, thank you. Spiky hair. Thanks. Oh, I need this. When the lighthouse is open, visitors can walk down the hundreds of steps and take a tour. But sadly for us, no tickets were available. Tinned chicken with potatoes and peas. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Simple meals. Yummy. Just heat it up in a pan. Cook the uh, potatoes and the peas. And add the chicken, tinned chicken in white sauce. It's lovely. It's good, isn't it? Mmm. Mmm. -mm. <coughs> I really enjoyed that bunny. We'll have that again. Good. I know you always like your tinned chicken. Yeah, tin chicken, really, really good. But you can only really get it in Sainsbury's, can't we? I think so. I haven't seen it anywhere. Excuse me, I haven't seen it anywhere else. I didn't have it in Lidl, um, Aldi. No. It's a very popular spot. Lots of people come to watch the sunset here. I assume that might be a ferry going to Ireland or it could be one of the cruise ships now endlessly circulating in the UK due to Covid. The van looks very dusty in the sunlight, but to be honest, we haven't noticed it. A bit too blinding at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. If you enjoyed this video, then give us a like and hit that subscribe button more adventures from the Little Red Camper.